Oh, here's my party. This is my main man. And we have got a few things. First, let's go to the kingdom management screen and see if there's anything I need to do right now. Nope, decrees are still in order. They are crunching along. So let's swap over to the army. And where is my number one army? Here's my number one army. I don't mean to brag, but I will. It's kind of a big deal. We got almost, we got 5,000 zombies, 3,000 skeletons. It's, uh, it's pr pretty sick. Uh, so we're running around right now with these guys, and we are basically just clearing all the demons out. And every time we kill the demons, we turn them into undead, and the snowball continues. So that's where we're at right now. We have, we have achieved, or we, we, we're pretty much at critical mass at this point. So we're going to have, uh, now this screen is not how the, you know, this screen is like Heroes of Might and Magic. This is essentially, um, like your, there's a little mini game within the game. But the other part is like an RPG where I control like a party of six people. Oh my gosh, did my skeletons get mind controlled? They just shot my zombies and killed like 500 of them. That's really bad. Wait, oh my god, there's troops down there hiding behind that thing. Okay, 505 back. 404 dead. Okay, do I have anything that cleanses that debuff? Because that's not great. I just barely miss dating stories and miss them. I mean, it was a short one. Let's do Siphon Time. That's my most powerful spell. And then delay this guy's turn. Um... Oh, that did not do anything. Oh, I need my archers back. My archers being uh, mind controlled is uh, really bad. And then all these guys are in a smoke cloud, so they can't do anything. Uh, profane healing. Other than taking hit. Oh, finally. Finally, I get to use these guys. All right, um, take those out. All right, that whole stack is dead now. Oh wow, they're getting three turns in a row. It's like the game's apologizing. Okay. Have the living archers start working on this stack down here. And... Dude, these mummy clerics are really... Almost useless, it feels like. Like, they have a lot of hit points, so they stand up front and get hit, and they take forever to die. That's good, but... That's about it. Category? Uh, I already changed it. It, it. Thank you for the reminder, but yeah, it is updated. If you're not seeing it, it just needs a refresh. Should have gone for the liches? Maybe. We will have... What was the thing chat voted on last night? We're gonna have skeletal dragons in the near future. We're gonna have skelly dragons in the near future. Oh my god, the fattest of bliss. All of you get up. In my stream every day. Uh oh. We've got a serious problem. Oh. What? Really? We're all top men. You should know about the egg. Really? Oh my god. Top men. Click. Go, ninja. Go, ninja. Go. Mm. Click, click, click. We're getting there. Uh oh, alright, this stack down here is gonna cause a problem pretty soon. Uh, let's do a heal on them. Uh, 
The marksman can't use their bow while something's in melee range. All right, undead snipers, shoot these. Oh, wow, that's meaty. All right, this should be in the bag now. There we go, excellent. Now turn them all into undead. Hmm. At the head of the demonic army, a powerful Lilithu demon was marching. Her eyeless face was hidden behind an eerie mirror-like mask. The specular mask was shattered, but the demon had melted its shards right into her flesh. A mage who sensed the power of the strange relic retrieved the reflective shards and gave them to the commander. So he just like picked them out of her face? It's kind of weird, my guy. Uh, okay. Where can we go now? Alright, so we're just gonna hit skip day. Does this go down there? No, it does not. Alright. Uh, let's see. Where else does the army need to sweep through? It looks like there's a path there. Uh, and down here. I'm not sure how to get down here, though. So let's just keep going eastward along the southernmost path that we can and see if we can find a path that goes south. That's not it. Okay, skip day. Uh, let's check the base here. One Ravener Dragon has been recruited. That's the Undead Dragon. Strengthening the chain of command one day. Uh, okay, so there's going to be like another meeting, I think. Executioner. A chilling truth about one of Dresden's jailers has come to life. He secretly became a worshipper of Zon Kuthon, terrorized all the prisoners, and learned magic that allowed him to use his brutal punishments to leech the life force from his victims. Okay, do I give him a raise? <laughs> Punish the jailer to give the crusade more morale. Encourage him to gain all units gain terrifying. They apply a stacking minus 20 penalty to combat morale. Oh my god. So we can torture the enemy? Take on the Jailer as a personal apprentice. <laughs> Energy income increases. Oh, Windowog. Uh, I'm gonna give all units terrifying. <laughs> The Executioner is so ruthless and adept at his work that rumors of him even filled demons with fear. Many servants of the Abyss will scatter at the mere mention of his name. Oh boy. You know, you know what I'm reminded of reading that? Is the, um... That scene from, uh, what was it called? Hunchback of Notre Dame. When they're, like, talking in the jail. Forget Disney movie, they're talking in the jail and you hear like whip cracks in the background and someone's screaming and then he's like, come here. And then like the torture guy comes from off screen over to the guy and he's like, you must wait between lashes or the old sting will dull him to the new. And the guy smiles and, gr and like nods and then goes off to whip the guy some more. Disney movie. I, <laughs> I'm reminded of that right now. Can't go that way, dang it. Uh, skip day. Muck would be a good boss, oh yeah. Uh, okay, so I can't go there right now. Oh, this connects to the south now. There we go. In the previous act, that pathway did not connect through. All right, whoa, whoa, big son of a gun. Squishy son of a gun. I think we're fine. And Molotov should finish it. Frollo is an interesting bad guy. <laughs> so Frollo, there's a uh, dummy thick gypsy girl outside with no shoes on. Oh my god. Baphomet's demon spared no effort in breaking the stones of this solid rock. It wasn't until after the Crusaders finished them off and examined the mountain that they finally realized the reason for the determination. There is a vein of mithril in these rocks, a rare and extremely valuable metal. 300 finance points. Alright, so this is one of the little bastions or the little... Oh, Pit Lords. This is one of the bastions or the little building things that blocks your squad from getting through. Uh, 
Uh, let's try dropping a magic boulder on his head. He's dead. Mithril is it rare though? I have two stacks of ingots. <laughs> wrong game, wrong world. A demon who reigned here worshipped neither Baphomet nor Daskari. With the help of his minions, he had built himself a little fort and used it as a base to mistreat many captured mortal slaves. And we actually got a location here. We can build it. Just seeing enemies explode is amusing. Well, if you got shot by 1,100 archers, you might explode too. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and sometimes what you gotta do is, is explode. Alright, uh, let's see. Demon Army to the south. This is like the last area that's got like a lot of armies for me to chew through. But we're getting a lot of undead out of it. Yo, the morale on this archer. She's like, yeah, give me another turn. I got more. She took three turns in a row. Ugh, black blood. Those must have been undead wolves. Sometimes you get those. A pack of plagued beasts, there you go, had settled in what remained of an ancient war camp. As one crusader bard told it, the camp likely belonged to warriors who followed Aerodin into battle against the de demonic invasion around 300 years ago. After clearing the camp, the crusaders collected everything of value and left. Okie dick. We're gonna have a, like, an army as big as you could possibly get in the game pretty soon. With how this is going. I'm gonna debuff that one and then save it for last. Uh, let's go here. Oh! Well, I mean, they've got wings. He went right over that wall thing. Wasn't expecting that. I guess flying in this uh, little mini game translates to ignores terrain stuff. I wonder if it's possible to split a stack of troops to get more turn, uh, turn, basically more turns. Uh, at the bottom of a small ravine where gargoyles used to dump their victims, warriors find many broken bones and punctured skulls. The warriors erect a burial mound of stones over the remains, but the belongings of the dead that failed to enter as the winged monsters were retrieved and sent to the armory's treasury. Uh, how do I... How do I open this guy's screen up? Oh, there it is. Uh, right click just opens that. Oh, I've got max. I would have. I would have to get rid of someone. But like, if I could get rid of like the rangers and split the skeleton sharpshoot. Well, wait a minute. Okay, what if I do that? How do I? How do I split? Oh, shift left click. Oh boy. That might be better. All right. Uh, and then the rangers. <laughs> the rangers need to start the long journey home. Uh, God, where's Dresden? All right, send them there. Okay. And you guys, let's tap the quick save. Let's try this out. <laughs> the marksmen are getting nervous. They're the only living thing in the army now. The only thing there. So now, instead of wasting extra damage with 2,500 archers hitting the same guy, we can split it. He's doing a throwing axe. Lose 50 skellies. I can bring them back. Mm. 
Nice, I like that. I like it. Surrounding the enemy camp was a palisade bearing the bodies of unfortunate clerics impaled on its spikes. The soldier removed the remains of those martyrs carefully, then buried them with honors. The crusaders' hearts are overflowing with a desire to make the enemy pay, as if gods themselves instigated the flames of rage in their souls. Nah, my guys are undead. They don't care. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, so Snap, hi. Oh, wait, actually, this isn't nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. Okay, dragon's dead. <laughs> it was very intimidating, but it was nothing. Delay turn and delay turn. That's what she said. <laughs> Jackal, shut up. Yeah, I I was scared, like, visually, and then I was like, oh, it says I'll kill the whole stack when I moused over it. Having exterminated the Ravener dragons and their undead slaves, the Crusaders discovered a huge cave full of treasures. The greed of those dragons was so insatiable that they couldn't abandon their trove even after death. Trap for the other. Oh, that's Darren's quest. I'm definitely interested in seeing that. All right, uh, skip day. And let's attack the stronghold. Just imagining 12 dragons and the thousands of troops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what is this guy? Hold on, hold on. What are we dealing with? Grave Knights. Liches. And those are, okay, all right. Liches first. Uh, I'm not really sure what he did there. Alright, kill the enemy sharpshooters. 750 of them down. Oh, wow. 3,000 of these kills one Grave Knight. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Zero damage. Wonder. He didn't like that. Uh, this kills 1,000 of them. Okay. Zombies too slow. I am very glad right now that we split the uh, the archers up so they could get more shots. That is helping tremendously. I don't know if I get to make undead units out of their undead units. I think in, in Might and Magic, you would not be able to do that. In this game, I think it might let you. The uh, An ancient necromancer has settled in the remote corner of the world wound and made a deal with demons, promising to serve them in exchange for their protection. Undead guards kept their watch on the towers of this terrifying castle, and by the castle wall, a tiny settlement emerged, inhabited by intimidated slaves. Now their imprisonment is over. Uh, which gives me a new town. Manage oh, Necromancer's Grave. <laughs> Imagine talking to some kid like, oh, hey, where do you live? Maybe we can play. Oh, I live at Necromancer's Grave. You know what? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Never mind. All right. Actually, I'm busy that day. We haven't picked a day yet. <laughs> I'll be brushing my teeth. Uh, can I target using this? 
What are these? Vampires. Let's take out the liches first. I don't know, when I think lich, I imagine an undead guy shooting a fireball at me. I, uh, the, the way that they're doing their lichy business is just like, much less intimidating than I thought it would be. I get 6,000 zombies. That's craziness. Bonk. Ow. Ow. You missed me say, I didn't miss it, Jackals. I did not miss it. <laughs> Tactfully glossed over it. Good night, everyone. Good night, Amora. Alright, let's see if we get troops from their undead stuff. So we've got, like, 1363, 1252, 6094. Yeah, we definitely got troops from that, even though they're undead. The Crusaders encountered a group of volunteers from Ustalov, who joined the Crusader on 60 years ago. Unfortunately, their leader, an influential noble, turned out to be an undercover vampire. He corrupted his army, spreading the plague of undeath among his soldiers. Before putting his unholy corpse to the torch, the Crusader stripped his body of the ancient relics of his family. Um, let's use call to arms. Which gives us more troops! We're, we're almost there, Chad. We've almost cleared all enemy armies on the map. Oh my god. We're fine. <laughs> More intimidation tactics. Are the black dragons chasing you? Better question, does it matter? <laughs> Once upon a time, an altar of a dragon god, Apsu, stood atop this high mountain. His noble children used to protect this place of power from demons, but the corruption of the world wound devoured their bodies and minds, turning them into undead monsters. However, even having lost their sanity, they never harmed the sacred altar. Okay. Uh, let's go here. And get this army. Uh oh, big bug thing. Bye, Felicia. Uh, we'll just pass this turn, that's fine. Yeah, it truly feels like the archers are like 100% of my- Look at this, 6,376 zombies hit this guy, doesn't kill one of them. Like, what? Like, I get that they're not DPS, but there's so many of them. I don't think when I make new um, skeleton sharpshooters, I don't think it's evenly distributing them between the two stacks I made. I may have to like merge them and resplit them periodically. Having dealt with the undead, the soldiers start scouting the neighborhood, looking for surviving enemies. One of them attracts his comrade's attention with a shout. He found some stones that look like the roof of a Sarkorian house. After some digging, the soldier finds ruins of an inn and the remains of a trade caravan that was carrying some valuable cargo but was never able to leave the shelter. Okay. All right, that's everything over here. I think it looks like there's a little path there. Is that the last of it? Uh, oh, a demon army just spawned up by Iz, and it's going to start running for my home. All that's clear. Yeah, other than like, well, and then this one by the by the finale. Okay. Yeah, okay, so 
other than newly spawning ones, we are about to be, um... We are about to have cleared the map of, uh, enemy armies. You're playing Joko? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> I started as a druid and things just got out of hand, okay? <laughs> this is a little, little slip up. Killing the Lilithus first, because they might be you mind guys controlling should me. Know about the edge. Mm. What do they mean? Mm. Muck like Palawa, Ignatius, oh Douglas, Ritual, Joko, Espar, the Inevitable. Good. Welcomes you to the oh, Ziggurat. <laughs> We've got a serious problem. <laughs> What? Really? We're all top men. You should know about the age. Really? Oh my god. Top men. Click. Go ninja. Go ninja. Go. Mm. Click. 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 Oh no. Ah, uh, it's fine. We win. They mind controlled that stack and it was shooting these zombies. But the infirmary had room so they brought, got brought back. You can't upgrade your zombies to archers. I don't think so. In a torn tent that served as the command base of the defeated unit, the soldiers find several notes with instructions from some influential demon of the Threshold Fortress. After studying them carefully, the officers drew a number of important conclusions on demon's tactics. Whether these conclusions are correct or not remains to be seen in battles to come. <laughs> Which were conclusions? Oh yeah? Yeah, they might be wrong. Okay. All right. Last army on the map. And then we'll be devoted entirely to doing non-army things, I think. We've gone from zero mummies to 99 mummies since we learned how to res them. My Lotus, the uh, the joke channel on the Discord. Is everything going okay? Did uh, everybody's coin thing work properly? Oh, there's my first... Oh, wow, look at the space it takes. So there's my uh, first Ravener dragon. More sharpshooters. All right. It's dot, 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 good. That sounds like you're full of doubt. Relic will be augmented. Report. Daren's plan worked. The leaders of the wary fell at the hands of their own deputies, who then quickly brought the soldiers to heal. Oh, nice. Uh, enchanting the attractive impulse. Priestesses of Shaylin and Calistria have arrived in Dresden to perform a ritual over the gemstone known as the attractive impulse. An argument broke out between them over who should have the right to complete their mission and who would get nothing. If you uh, do this choice, uh, the enemy starts losing their mind. Whenever the wearer of these gloves gets a critical hit with a bow, the enemy starts to lose their mind, suffering one damage to Int, Wiz, or Charisma. Uh, whenever the wearer of these gloves lands a melee touch attack, the enemy must make a will saving throw, or his heart and mind is consumed with lust. <laughs> and critical hit against affected enemy drives him even crazier, paralyzing him for one round. I don't think I want to see that. Is he just gonna, like, collapse to the floor and just, mm, just, like, start worming around? Like, he gets paralyzed with lust? Are you kidding me? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the other thing. It's, it's uncomfortable. Theo Timbaline, thank you for gifting his, um, Mucklet Douglas, about that'll be Reginald Esquire the fourth. This is Johnson Fistuffles, the third one comes you. Dragon and Bolt to the lap. Hope you enjoy your stay entertainment is on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the speakers, giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mmm. Welcome. Uh, and thank you, Theo Timeline, for the generous contribution. The priestesses of Shaylin conducted a ritual over the gemstone, which called upon the grace of the Lady of Chrysanthemums. Okay. Uh, the fate. Yeah, let's get another item going. And get more undeads. And I can't do that right now. Okay. All right, and let's switch back to my party mode. Okay, what could my party be working on right now? We could go to 
There's, uh, no, we can't do that. We could go here. Really, the big thing would be trap for the other. Um, 